So as the country gets ready to open up cultural institutions, some smaller businesses who are now permitted to open up say the damage done by the pandemic means it will be a while until they will be able to open up just like everyone else. Unlike the big hotel chains and concert stadiums, smaller companies are finding themselves in debt and unable to bounce back at the drop of a hat. Let's speak to Daniela Crankshaw, the co-founder and executive artistic director at Center Stage Israel, the country's first professional English language theater. Daniela, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me, Lauren. So Daniela, it must have been quite exciting for you to hear that you could finally open up after a year of closing your doors to audiences. What did you think when you first heard the oh. news? It was definitely exciting and um, I was thrilled, but at the same time, um, it I think I had mixed feelings because I know that as much as this year has been devastating for theater and a lot of people, I think that the next year is going to be just as hard in a different way. And I think for theater as a live art form, it's it's been harder than most because we haven't been open during the year. We can't offer off the shelf products um, or go online like other companies have. We have gone online um, in various ways, but it's not the same as being open and having that live theater experience. So excitement, definitely, um, but also trepidation um, and concern about reopening. So are you able to open up right now? Will you be opening up alongside all the other bigger cultural institutions? And if not, what is making it difficult for you? Well, I think there's a difference between, you know, smaller theaters than these big institutional um, theaters. We are a private company. We've we built this theater on our own. We opened three months before COVID struck. And then for a year, we've been out of business. So literally any business that is not bringing any revenue for a month or two can't survive. Imagine a year of not having that. But um, I think the bigger theaters have an advantage because they have shows maybe waiting in the wings. Um, they have a bigger, they have a huge marketing machine. They have um, a large following subscribers. We have the challenge of being smaller, smaller subscribers. We have to start pre-production. We have to audition. We have to go into rehearsals. So we're not going to see ourselves really opening with productions for quite a while. What we can do in the meantime is potentially open with smaller events for our community. Luckily, we have a theater and a bar lounge, so we can use the bar lounge for stand-up comedy or music, live music events and things like that. But in terms of theater proper, I think that's going to take a while. And, you know, getting the audience back in is also going to be a challenge. There's a lot of fear out there. There's a lot of um, concern. And we have to make sure that we stand by the regulations, that we do everything we can do to make the audience feel safe enough to come back to our theatre. Well, speaking about, you know, what we can do in the meantime, how do you recommend people still keep art a part of their lives, uh, you know, during this time that they can't necessarily go to all the places that they thought they would be? And how can they support smaller businesses like Center Stage? I think what's important is to understand that recovery um, cannot happen without culture. We need culture. It's, it's part of our lifeblood. It's it what keeps us going. Um, but I think that we have to, to start a hybrid situation. I think we're going to have live theater together with the option of Zoom. So while people who cannot come, who have potentially um, immune issues or cannot be vaccinated, can still enjoy the theater with an, a semblance of a, a feeling of being in live theater because there will be a live audience to a degree. But people need to support us. We're, we're part of the lifeblood of the community. Um, and we intend to be there for a long, long time. It's all about adaptation. What can I say? Daniela Crankshaw, thank you so much for being with us. And good luck. Thank you so much, Laura.